Another race video, here we go. C grade Norwood Criterium Club Championships for A and B, so there was no way I was going to do that because that was basically, I was going to get spat after about five minutes. Uh, but nonetheless, we gave it a good go. There was another guy uh, called Christian who was wearing the Chilean National Time Trial Champion jersey. Um, he was, he's another vegan cyclist who's um, over here from Chile. He's, he's been living in LA for about a year now. Um, so it was his, his last race of the year. So I, was, I wanted to help him and um, have a good race. So I actually bumped into someone on, uh, who was watching the channel in the race, which was quite funny. Uh, but I'll just show you the first lap at the moment. Uh, it was like not really. It was a weird race, so it wasn't really very fast. Like at one point, D grade actually overtook us because we were just we were racing at the same time as uh, D grade, and they overtook us because we just weren't really going that hard. Like a normalist power is only two sixty for the hour, uh, a little less than an hour, and my Strava weighted power is like two forty, so it's just not much. Um, so you can see here, it's a really nice course, Vic Park. You can see on the right hand side of the or screen the technic technical features. So there's one sweeping right hand corner. You can basically pedal through that. It was, no one really hits it that hard. Uh, wind pretty light. This is a slight tailwind down here, slight downhill as well, but not really. Uh, and then there's this sharp right hand corner. But if you've seen my last video where I got dropped, I have improved that corner. I think mainly because people aren't very good at cornering in C grade in comparison to B grade. So um, I didn't really have any dramas around that corner. Generally, just pedal around it um, and had a good race. So I decided that. I didn't really want to sprint. I could probably get a top 10 in this race or something around that, but I was like, that's a bit pointless. Um, so I was like, right, I'm going to have a couple of attacks uh, and just see how we go. So I had a couple of attacks in the, at the end and you'll see what happens. Uh, so it was a good race. I did my FTP test the day before the race. So I was feeling a little bit tired and I did a nice like two hour spin before. So I was feeling relatively warmed up um, and rode over there. So it was good. Uh, so we're just coming towards the end of the race. So you can see it's a, it's a so solid course, completely flat mainly pretty fast and uh yeah so this is into a slight headwind so you can see there are just people on the front sort of i don't really know what they're doing to be honest just riding around um but it was uh yeah solid there are a couple of attacks there was the preem uh, which prompted a couple of attacks and uh yeah that was that was uh, about it I th i'm not sure i won the prime so here we go there's a uh, there's my mate chili Christian on the right hand side uh, wearing the chilean national time trial champion so you can see we're just moving up i just tried to keep good position you know top top 10 or so wheels, there was about 30 riders in this, and it got reduced to about 20 to 15, no, about 20, yeah, maybe at the end, um, so yeah, it was, it was solid, so you can see here, the pace is pretty cash, like 165 beats a minute, my max is 201, so yeah, you know, not very hard in rea re reality, so you can see around this corner, everyone sort of backs it off a little bit, um, you can take this corner probably about 10 k's an hour faster, um, you can see D grade break has now just caught us, uh, which is always a bit like everyone decided to hit it a bit more. So you can see we're now upping the pace a bit. But again, out the corners, like, you can see the difference between B and C. Like C grade, I was, I was doing like 500 maybe out the corner for like five seconds. And C grade, uh, B grade, sorry, I was doing about um, 600 watts for like 10 seconds, mainly because I was shit at cornering. But anyway, that's besides the, besides the problem. So here everyone's like, right, let's move up, let's hit it. So I sort of got stuck here. I could see the brake was going um, sort of around here. So I was like, right, let's let's move up, keep good position. Um, it's always a bit like if you're in the like, a, if you're just going past someone, just like try and move over to the other side of the track because it's really annoying if you're trying to overtake someone, um, and that's just slap bang in the middle of the track, uh, which is super annoying. But anyway, it was um, it was a solid race. Really enjoyed, really enjoy this 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 circuit. Actually, I wish, I mean, obviously, I wish there was a hill, but for a flat circuit, it's not too bad, and it's quite fun attacking. Um, so around this corner, I think the best the best line to take is the outside line that I take here, because if you keep pedaling through it, you can make up a lot of places on the left hand side here. I don't think I do it on this lap, but you'll see a couple laps, um, some of the laps I do it. And you can see here it really slows down, and we're starting to move up. Um, so I think on these opportunities, when as soon as it slows down, just try and move up a couple of positions and just like see see if you can or not. Like here, obviously the pace is a little bit high. We're doing like 300 watts, so it's not it's not super easy to to move up but it could be um it could be like harder obviously if it's uh it's, it's full gas but it's not it's not impossible and around these corners generally just try and take the outside line and just cut in as much as you can most people pe don't pedal through this corner but i think you can unless you're going sort of 45 50 k's an hour uh sorry for the bird in the background i have to do this outside um it's a bit noisy otherwise so you can see here i lose the wheel a little bit i'm not really sure what's going on. i think i was towards the back here it wasn't great um but you can see this guy ahead of me is um, was struggling a little bit. And here comes the pace. The pace then, people, a couple of people try to get a breakaway going. Um, I think it was the preem lap on this one, which is why people try to get a breakaway. But anyway, that was a little bit tough. So then we skip ahead here. And you can see, again, I'm near the front. 
um, and I'm looking, I'm thinking that this is when I'm looking for the opportunity to move up again. Um, just showing you like how, so what sort of pace there is in like C grade. Um, so here again, I was just like, I sort of had the momentum. And I just I was like, right, here we go. Let, let's move up a little bit and um, see. So there was just a couple of attacks before, but you could see here it's, I'm doing what, like 150 watts, and I've just come to the very front of the field, which just is a really good way of moving up and just saving your energy. So you can see here there was, there was some breaks and happening and everyone's sort of soft pedaling, and I just was like, right, um, let's keep the momentum. So around those corners, often people just slow up, like just pedal around and just keep, keep like the like just keep pedaling a little bit, like 150, 200 watts, and you can often just move straight to the front. So now I'm at the front, I can sl slip back two or three places, and I'm in a, a good position to go in case there's any breakaways. So it's often like a little bit of, here we go, smiling for the camera, because everyone loves the camera. Um, Chrissy knew it was on. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying before, it's just quite easy to move up when the pace is slow. And uh, obviously if it's strung out one long line, and it's like 300, I mean, you're going 45, 50 k's an hour, and yeah, don't, don't move up. But if it's pretty cash then it doesn't really matter so you can see here no one's really like no one's really on the front like i'm sort of doing 37 k's an hour like people are a little looking around and we now skip ahead again um to a couple k's left we're about 40 minutes in so 20 minutes to go and i think this is when i decide that it's time it's time to go um so i was coming around this corner and i was thinking um basically how can i ensure that i get a good break so when i attacked i tried to attack as the furthest like away from the peloton if that makes sense so if you attack right next to the group it's really easy to get on the wheel but if you attack on the other side of the road then it can be really well they just have to put in more effort to get close to you um i'm not sure if i attack necessarily on that it's always really hard to tell because obviously racism is um racing is it yeah so here we go attacking the right hand side of the group we get up to a thousand watts at one point which is pretty insane for me um and so you can see it took me a long time to get to the front like a very long time but i carried a lot of speed into it so we're going up to 55 hit 58 k's an hour down here which is really good and i'm now just looking right i'm going to get as big a gap as i can so people are just like discouraged to chase so i'm really going for it i mean obviously like i was going to the corners like, i don't want to absolutely kill myself because i know on this corner i'll probably be able to like, out corner most people and gain like, a couple of seconds on the corner so I sort of start to soft pedal a little bit, like 200 watts, go around the corner, steep, keep pedaling a little bit. I think I stopped pedaling for a tiny second and then sprint out the corner um, and really just try and hold the watts. And now I'm like, right, 400 watts, let's hold this for a couple minutes and just see if I can eke out a gap or not. Um, and just get in that air position. You can see I've got my elbows at 90 degrees, just trying to get as aero as possible. You can see some fans on the right hand side of the road, loving the Charlie Carter cycling, and they're shouting. Um, so yeah, we, we took the lap. Um, sorry we, we're going solo and like at this point i feel like you just need to go full gas and like i knew i had a bit of a gap i looked around so i was like they're not directly on me and hopefully someone will come across because I, I won't be able to do a solo break like there's no way i'm going to do a solo break but unless they really like sort of give up so i was like if i can get a couple people coming up jumping across um then it'll be good so you can see how I'm, this is when i really start to struggle i remember my cadence started to drop a little bit and i was like oh this hurts quite a lot like being solo on the, off the front is uh, quite painful especially when you're sort of a small rider who doesn't have the, like, the power. It's around the corners, like the acceleration is quite small. And I have enough power just to sit in, but it's quite different sitting in and like being able to actually form a breakaway and really go for it. So you can see here again, we're holding some decent power bars. Like, oh, I really hope someone comes across because there's no way I can actually hold this. Because I was thinking, this is the problem I was, I was thinking, I was like, yesterday I was going full gas and only hold a 314 for 20 minutes and I've got 20 minutes left. So there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. But luckily this guy jumped across. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. We've got, we've got one guy to go. And I remember when he jumped across, it was really hard to get on his wheel. But when I'm now on his wheel. So I was thinking, right, here we go. We've got two people on the brake. Hopefully he can take a couple turns. And then as soon as he flicks off, I should be able to do some strong, strong 350 to 400 what turns on the front for like 30 seconds or something and then swap off for a close to a minute so I was, I was really happy and then i remember here we came around and i had a little check back and i was like ah the bunch is on us so i just i was just like give up i was like there's no point going um, i think he knew as well he took, takes a sip from his water bottle and was like yeah cheerio which has been annoying because it's like i sort of wanted to break but this is when in reality you should attack straight away as soon as it gets caught but i was feeling a bit tired so here i'm just back pedaling and i try not to lose too much position because i know like i use some energy to get to the front so here i'm just trying to sort of barge my way in and there we go it's a bit of an acceleration so generally if you sort of just keep a little bit ahead of the person so if there's one person to the side of you if you just sort of accelerate a little bit more than them and as soon as the gap opens it's sort of you just naturally slot in um, and then that's quite a good way of just moving up position just sort of holding it this can be like a low grades so people aren't really expecting like any body contact or anything so obviously like in world tour races they all 
like shoulder barge each other but in c grade like if you do that people probably fall off their bikes so it's more like you just sort of have to be a bit more dominant and just move in front so i believe we're coming uh towards the the last lap now um so you can see here this is another one of my attacks i saw someone go off the front i was like right time to go so i was um just moving up and sort of like oh, i was like oh no one's gonna chase right so here we go 400 watts and then put my hands over and then i was like oh shit maybe i maybe i'm not allowed to do that because i know in the uk you can't um you can't take both hands off the bars and do sort of pedicagan puppy force. But here I like blasted straight past that person. He was, he was like looking pretty dead. So I was like, there's no point slowing down. Time to go full, full gas around the corner. Hopefully no one chases. Uh, and then I think I looked back around this point and everyone was basically on my wheel. Um, but again, I wasn't really on the other side of the road. So here you can see Christian's on the front. Um, and he's he's like a good, decent enough sprinter. So I was like, all right, I don't really want him on the front because I was sort of wanted to lead him out and then I don't want to attack, but we'll get to that in a bit. So you can see here, he's on the front. Um, so not so, like for him, he's quite a guy, big rider and he's good on the climb. So I feel like it wasn't really full gas, but he pulls off, which is a clever move. He pulls off again. Everyone's pulling off. No one wants to be on the front. And then Norwood man, he decides like, right, I'm going to be the strong guy and just lead out. So this is great, really. If you're, if you're a sprinter, this is perfect position because you're on fourth wheel. Maybe I'm a little bit too far forward. Maybe it would be better if I was fifth or sixth. Um, and you, there's like a couple people in front of you. So as long as this guy drives it and you sort of know like what people are going to do. And you felt like this guy was setting a good enough tempo that he could probably hold like a lap pretty much. So he was now on the front. Um, and I think around this corner, he decides like, actually, I don't really want to work. And it was the last lap. So I was like, all right, no one's working. I'm just going to. Uh, oh no, sorry, this is not the last lap. This is two laps to go. So we got one more lap after this. So he's still on the front. He looked around there and everyone's like, oh, what's going on? But you can see the pace isn't high. Like, we're going 40 k's an hour with a tailwind. Like when I attacked, we were up to like 58 k's an hour. So you can tell like if he was really leaning out hard, we'd go 50, 55 k's an hour. So he's not. He's going 40 k's an hour. You can see I'm like less than 100 watts. The lead out isn't really fast enough. But luckily, everyone's sort of content where they are and no one's moving up. Because this is where it can be quite dangerous because people can swamp you on either side if they're strong enough. Because all you have to do is 250, 300 watts an hour which is not that much considering you're close to the end of the race and you could just swamp everyone. So instead, um, luckily no one really decided to do that. Around this corner again, you've got to watch out. Is there anyone dive bombing? Luckily, everyone, no one dive bombed. Like it wasn't that competitive race, which is nice. Kick out the corner, nothing crazy, only up to 500 watts. So that was chill. And you can see here, my heart rate's still pretty low. I know I've got a lot in the tank left, but this guy's still going and everyone's just sort of content because no one wants to really go to the front and absolutely drill it because there's no real teammates or anything. Um, so I was like, right, what am I going to do? And I was like, well, I'll probably just attack. And then if I attack and it succeeds, well then great, I win the race. But I was like, that probably won't happen. But if it doesn't, then at least I'll lead, um, Christian out and hopefully he can have an all right sprint. It was sort of like one of those things where I was like, well, I could sprint while I getting a top 10. I don't really care. And also I got so much abuse in the comments last time about being, having a shit sprint. So I was like, oh, I better actually attack this time. I was going to get too much abuse. So I was like, all right, I'll do a, do a couple of attacks. Like, I didn't attack that much this race, mainly because I just like felt like I did a couple of attacks early on, which I didn't show. Well, not really attacks, but more like following other moves and just everyone chased everything. So I was like, all right, that's, that's a waste of time. So I just did a couple really strong attacks, but unfortunately they didn't get pulled. So around this corner, you can see uh, Christian's in second wheel. There's this guy on the giant ahead of me. He's a young guy. He'd, and then he's pulling over. The guy on the front was going. So I so I just was like, right, let's go. So I put, put it up to 600 watts. I didn't go full gas to attack. It was more like a lead out. And maybe if I wanted to win it, I should have done a bigger attack here. But anyway, you can see we're up to 600 watts. And we're just holding about 500 to 600 watts here. And we're bringing the speed up to 53, 55 k's an hour. I think we end up maxing out. And I just know that like no one's going to be moving up at 53 k's now. Everyone's just going to be in the gutter, just straight behind me. So I'm just like, right, this is perfect because uh, the sprint, I thought the sprint was way close, but the sprint's actually a really long way um, from this corner. So I, I took this corner pretty fast. We're going 47 k's an hour around this corner, which is probably the fastest we went, and then sort of sprinted up. And I was just like, right, I need to hold it as long as possible. And then this is where I should have gone deeper. I didn't like go that deep. So here I was like swung off just here. And you can see Christian on the right-hand side was just behind me and he's trying to get onto that guy's wheel and then it's sort of a little bit too early and then you want to be sprinting probably about here so you can see i just pull over because i'm a bit tired like i probably could have kept with a group but i was like meh um and so that was the end of the race leave your comments and criticisms below give me some abuse about my shitty attacking um and give me some abuse also about like what i should do next time because i feel like there aren't many crits to go but there's a road race in two weeks so that'll be a good laugh and um, yeah so cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next video